Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, in today's video, I will be showing you how to give yourself owner rank in your SCP Secret Laboratory server. So first thing you're going to have to do is go into App Data, go into Roaming, then go into SCP Secret Laboratory. Then inside here, go into Config, then um, go into whatever folder your server port is on. So say um, you're on default port, you would go in 7777. If let's say you're in 6969, you would go into a folder on here uh, with 6969. Um, obviously if it isn't there, that means you haven't start up, uh, you haven't started up your um, secret laboratory server. So just do that for local admin. Um, which I already have right here. I'm hiding the other side of the screen so I don't show my IP address. So simply go inside here and open config under slash um, local admin dot tx or er, well no, no 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 config under slash remote admin dot txt. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm open as a notepad, but it's a txt, so it's fine. Um, so the first thing is basically yeah, it's a txt. It's really simple and uh, you could re read through this and I mean it's not that hard to figure out if we do need help you could come to our website here and go to server configuration uh, okay so yeah we basically just try to um, do it through password password but it seems like the developers completely disabled it which is good so um, obviously we already have uh, owner badge admin badge and moderator badge automatically um, set up in here so to add yourself as owner, simply first you're gonna have to remove the three placeholders right here. They're useless. Uh, well, they're not really useless, but they're actually gonna mess with you getting your own ba your uh, the badge in your server. So either if you do it with um, Steam or Discord, it would be uh, Steam ID or whoopsie no. If you do Discord, it'd be Discord ID at Discord. If you are playing on Discord, the Discord version of the game, but we're doing Steam, so it would be Steam 64 uh, 64 ID at Steam. So uh, I'll have this link in the description. This is a website where you can type in a username, and you could find someone's Steam ID. And that's where we're using. Find and Steam. 64. Control C, go back in here, Control V, paste it, and save it. Also, make sure it's a space, um, this dash in a space, otherwise, it's gonna be really fucky. Go over here, restart it, aka just reload it. Um, I don't think it's going to override my global tag. Oh. Okay, no, it did. So, yeah, if you uh, are obviously using default one, uh, obviously you can mess around with this. Again, you could um, go over here, server, configuration, and where the role stuff. You could go to the remote admin uh, section and see all the stuff. It's really helpful. I recommend checking it out if you need help. Um, but I, this video, I'm just showing you how to give yourself owner. Uh, in next videos, I will show you how to do all this other stuff with permission stuff. So obviously, if you press send inside the server, you will see server owner. Uh, you'll have a badge, and your name will be read. A pretty pog. And if you press M, boom, remote admin. Um, Okay, I'm just going to show you the very basics right now, but I will make a video on how to use remote admin. So if you want to start a round uh, with yourself, uh, go to server events, have round lock on, and click start round. And we're in it. And now, uh, usually if you would start it, um, this round would just um, end automatically because you're all alone. But since we have round lock on, that will not happen. But you have all these other cool stuff really cool panel um, really cool stuff you should uh, you know check out by yourself 
you know, figure stuff out for yourself. It's fun. Um, to use this player thing, just simply click on a player. If there's multiple players you want to click on, just hold control and click away. Uh, for example, no clip. Give myself no clip, and we're no clipping. Wee. All right. Now, if yeah, if you press I, that's how you uh, enable and disable it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to give yourself um, the owner tag in your server. Um, in the next video, then well, yeah, the next upcoming videos, I'll show you how to do more stuff or like configuration related stuff. Uh, if, remember, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you haven't already um, subscribed, it means a lot and it helps uh, with the channel because the YouTube algorithm will pick up my channel and begin to recommend it to more um, SCPSO players that are probably in need of help um, with this stuff. Alright, 